Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Maybe we'll try greed mode with somebody. See if that affects the game. Maybe we can do it. Maggie, greed mode? Didn't... Is it gonna crash? It crashed. Okay. Um, so, in actuality, we're probably not gonna do that. <laughs> this might be a bad day to try to unlock stuff. Because it seems like the patch has, has crashed a lot of the alternate paths and that Samson run we didn't even get the achievement for having finished the run so you know what let's just do what we do when we don't have anything else to do and we'll just do your standard Isaac run here got a world card sing it with me everybody he's got the whole world in his hands he's, okay, I'm just I'm bullshitting you uh we have to hit the button to get out of here so we'll start with this and that actually completely accomplished it I didn't think that was going to do the job, but it did the job. Got a key out of it as well, and then inside of here, we're going to get a single penny. Not worth the bomb spent to get in there. Life goes on. Uh, the last run we had with Samson was awesome. I'm, like I said, you know, I, I can understand people being salty over that, not unlocking, um, not unlocking, but completing the progress that we're supposed to have for the dark room. It hasn't been a great day necessarily for the, uh, you know, Isaac functionality, but it's been a great day for the ARG, and I'll take a, you know, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of, like, sweet ARG that breaks the game for a day over, oh, this thing doesn't work right now, blah, blah, you know, I'm gonna wring my hands over it. Like I said, you know, we gotta think of this long-term, we're gonna be playing Isaac forever. I'll always have more time to do a Samson, um, dark room run, dark, Samson hush run. It's just a shame that we couldn't get it all uh, done at once, because that was a run that was definitely capable of doing that, barring Mega Satan, of course. And okay, God's Flesh for Shrink Shot. I, I don't think it's a particularly strong item, but it is a fun item. I think, you know, a lot of people, and this is not me telling you how to enjoy your game. You can do that however you please. But um, for a lot of people, I think Isaac represents a list of tasks to be accomplished. And for me, what it represents is uh, an engine to exercise my own absurdity and the absurdity within the bounds that the game allows me to exercise. Um, so, I, I don't know, it's not like I had, you know, go to the grocery store, get milk on my to-do list, and then I went to the grocery store, they're out of milk, and I'm like, God damn it, Tyrone! I was supposed to get milk, and now I can't accomplish it, my whole day's ruined. It's more like, uh, I thought that would give us the extra HP, but that's okay. It's more like, ah, eh, you know, we'll accomplish it at a later date. We'll just have orange juice today instead of milk. We'll just have water, we'll have tea, it doesn't matter right now. Um, again, I kind of feel like God's Flesh is a... An item I don't fully understand yet. If it's just an interesting tear effect, that's cool. But there's a lot of items, you know, you think of something like Concussive Tears. It's an interesting tear effect that was new to Rebirth, but it also carried a, a damage bonus that was not immediately apparent the first time we saw it. Rainbow Baby. It's okay, uh, especially for uh, a Curse of the Unknown. Would have preferred something a little better, but that's okay as well. Um, so yeah, maybe there's, you know, like a point two tiers upgrade or something along with this. I don't know. I would be skeptical, probably. My initial, uh, you know, my Occam's Razor is that I uh, would probably be expecting it to just be the tier effect, but... I have to look at uh, someone who knows a little bit more than me to figure that out. There's an item over there. Usually those items are good, I will say that. Typically, if you see an item that is in the middle of the, the rocks... You want to get a Hanged Man card and pick it up, if it's at all possible. We could get just a Deal with the Devil that gives us the ability to fly as well. Or, how about we get three Guppy items on our Deal with the Devil and just transform into Guppy and then fly over to it. Um, but suff suffice to say, I probably will be looking to uh, pick up Tarot cards if they're available. Ooh, we'll try it. Pushpin. It's probably just about exactly worth uh, the bomb and the key we spent on it. It could be shit as well. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's gonna be shit, but it could be shit. I don't want to hit him too much when he's close to the fire, because he could actually walk himself into it and... Yeah, make my life much, much easier. Thank you so much for your idiocy. I appreciate it. Although, we did almost get hit by the fire ourselves, so who's the idiot now? Stop with the teleporting and the... Oh! I really thought he might hit himself. That's gonna extinguish the fire. I'm amazed it lasted this long, to be honest with you. Okay. Our item. Speed upgrade, not too bad. Krampus fight, this is kind of shitty. Because we won't have deal with the devil precedent. If it gives us Krampus's head, we can re-roll it. 
If it doesn't give us Krampus's head, it's gonna give us Lump of Coal, which is good. But in this really unique situation, I think I'm just gonna go for the reroll right off the bat. I'm not even gonna look to see what it is. Contract from below. You know what? I think we could make a case that this is arguably better than Lump of Coal. I love the extra damage, don't get me wrong. Uh, extra consumables, ooh, small rock. And especially extra chests uh, might be worth more. But it's, I, I was obviously hoping for like a flying item or something truly out of control. Uh, but being able to get double consumables, I think probably this was a, I don't, I'm not going to say it's a good reroll, but it was a good uh, trade for us. It was probably a bad reroll if it was Lump of Coal because we could save our reroll for something else, but... Uh, I'll, I'll live with this. This is okay. Let's check for our secret room. Don't want to leave this floor until we're sure we've more or less exhausted all the potential uh, opportunities to get this item. I also feel like, was this the room with the... Where, where was the room that had like a thousand pots on it? That was the room I was looking forward to, yeah, maybe throwing down a, a bomb in the middle of those pots to have a chance to get a quarter or something. Got a single penny instead. A little disappointing, fair to say, but uh, that's okay. Next step is blow up our donation machine and look for um, a tarot card, honestly. Is there a tarot card in here? There is. And we got a decent amount of money. We'll buy the card, hope it's a hanged man. It's justice. justice. Justice is okay. Not specifically what I wanted. Then we'll buy whatever the seven cent item is. I doubt it'll be what we want. It is Diplopia, which I will use immediately, and that will allow us to get this other item for free. Ventricle Razor, which is the... Uh, it's unfortunately the portal item, which we don't want. But then we can D6 our existing D6 and the Ventricle Cutter, and get two new items. One's Box of Friends, the other is the Candle. And that's the end of the line for us there. But we did take a lot of items out of the shop. Was it worth it? Yeah, we, we spent a couple of bombs and fucked with our donation machine and had a really unique situation show up. Obviously, I would have preferred some passive items. I'm a little surprised that we got exclusively active items there, but it was fun nonetheless. Now we're, we find ourselves a little bit behind the eight ball, honestly. Small Rock, great pickup. We got a speed upgrade, which is useful, if not, you know, a superstar item for us. Uh, we will take the left hand here, regardless of whether or not we lose our deal with the Devil Precedent. Or not Precedent, but... Uh, chance by taking red heart damage um because the left hand does give us the best chance of getting spirit hearts and guppy items blah 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 we don't have that many keys anyway so we're not missing out on too many chests that we'd care about that much oh that's so unfortunate but also we have contract from below so we're getting like double red chests in, uh, in many situations but anyway um yeah we're, we're a little bit behind the eight ball we don't have deal with the devil precedent we don't have like truly incredible damage uh we don't have great hp we're just kind of like you know we're like average across the board right now so we got uh, our work cut out for us to some extent, but as Isaac, certainly we've got uh, good potential to make that happen in the future. That Diplopia play was pretty cool. I'm starting to realize that uh, Diplopia on the shop is like... Uh, it's probably, if you already have a good spacebar item, it's probably best to just Diplopia the shop and get a free item. Um, I think. And all the consumables as well. What ended up being uh, interesting there was we diplopia the item pedestal that had the D6 into another D6 that actually had a full charge, which is, I was not expecting that. Um, so we got another, like, three or two rerolls out of it, which was cool. If we'd had more money, we could have bought the other pedestal as well and then rerolled that too, but... Uh, I guess we probably did re-roll it, I just didn't see what it was because of the Curse of the Blind. But anyway, um, interesting. Interesting situation. Taking a lot of dumb damage here. I'm not thrilled with this, but uh, I have faith that if we just kind of survive long enough, we'll be able to pull out some, you know, tease out some defensive power and stuff like that and, and not be too uh, concerned about our overall chances on this run. I mean, we are Isaac. Isaac runs are, are typically wins. <laughs> if, we're being, uh, if we're being realistic, you know. People in the Isaac community have said stuff like, if I played as Isaac, I don't think I would ever lose again. Uh, so... If we, uh, if we just capitulate completely on this run, it would be a pretty big disappointment, all things considered. Nice shot. Now, again, there is still the chance. It's not large, especially considering we got a deal with the devil on the last floor, but there is still a chance that we pick up a deal with the devil. Now there is not. But we got a guppy item, which we'll use once for protection and then reroll 
becomes Sack Dagger. Um, I don't believe that the items get re-rolled, uh, or the, the pool gets changed when you walk out anymore. It used to be you'd walk out, and no longer would it be a uh, Deal with the Devil item. If you re-rolled it, it would become just a regular boss item. So that was obviously like a huge problem, and you'd just re-roll as early as possible, and then if you ran out, you'd be like, well, shit. But in, in our situation right now, um, this is good, because Sack Dagger is actually an awesome item for us. Sure, maybe we prefer uh, to get a second Guppy item, but... Sack Dagger is, like, absolutely worthwhile as well. And I will use that probably to my own detriment as we move forward here to, to hit enemies that I probably should just be shooting instead. But, uh, you know, that's that's the Northern Lion way. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Alrighty. Looking for our item room. Shop is a secondary concern. If we can get it. More power to us. If we can't, no skin off our scrote, right? Yeah, sure. Stompy without a speed downgrade is good, I think. This is a great example of why. We get an Emperor card. That's a really, really good card. Big, uh, big things for that is teleporting out of a curse room or out of a mob trap room and into the boss room immediately. So uh, we can also use that, maybe do like two rooms on the next floor, walk into our curse room, Emperor card out, and we'll have a D6 ready. I'm soaked uh, that we have the left hand as well. The left hand plus a uh, guppy item gives us, uh, plus contract from below as well, gives us a pretty above average chance of becoming guppy. Something we haven't always been able to accomplish with regularity on this run, or on on, uh, on Afterbirth, I should say, not on this run, in this game, in this expansion. Uh, so I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. This, this run has all the tools necessary to make something happen. This caves too, so it is worth using this. We get HP, two spirit hearts, uh, and you know what? I regret everything, but I don't feel too bad. We got an HP upgrade, and we traded um, one spirit heart that we gained there in order to get... Uh, oh, such terrible damage. In order to get uh, that other red chest, which ended up being nothing, but we got two spirit hearts on the room, so I'm not like super displeased about our performance there. Of course, in hindsight, we would have rather not done that, but uh, if it had been a guppy item, especially an active guppy item, then we re-roll it and all of a sudden our guppy dream comes true in, you know, one fell swoop there. I think I could be convinced maybe that God's Flesh is actually a tears, uh, well not a tears downgrade, but like a downgraded tear effect for us. A negative, I guess I should say. Not to be confused with the negative, but uh, I never use that item anyway, apparently. Um, it makes it so, like, oftentimes I'm like, oh, we're done a room, and then all of a sudden I realize, wait, no we're not. Uh, we're still very much fighting an enemy here. I've just, I, I can't see them anymore. They've been hiding. It is worth trying to find a crawl space or a black market. Uh, I'm not going to harp on it too much, but it's something that's, it's suggested. And if we can swing it, I would like to. Sack Dagger is doing some great work here. It's all the I when I get hit because of Sack Dagger, it's my fault. When Sack Dagger allows me to do something awesome, it's Sack Dagger's benefit. Like that, it's that's the truth. I'm not even being sarcastic. It's a great item. I love it, and uh, if I could use it perfectly, I would love to. Uh, Joker card. I'm gonna use it right now so we can keep our Emperor card. And you know what? Now I'm like, we want to take Red Heart damage on this floor so we can not completely fuck our chances. Oh man, that's so terrible. Uh. I, I actually am going to be a complete idiot. I'm going to take red heart damage on this floor. Because I don't want to deal with the devil now that I've seen that this deal with the devil sucks. So we took red heart damage. Then I'm going to blow this up and buy a spirit heart. This might seem absolutely idiotic. And you know, I'll level with you. It might be absolutely idiotic. But uh, hopefully you understand my reasoning. Basically it comes down to, I want to lower our chances of getting a deal with the devil on this floor now that I've already seen the deal with the devil and it was dog shit. Um, we uh, would be better off not having this deal. I forgot we'd already seen our regular secret room. Um, we'd, we'd be better off getting a deal with the devil on our next floor if it's at all possible. Uh, I'm super stoked to have gotten Dr. Fetus. It's an item that comes with lots of cool synergies now and uh, is not awful from a damage perspective, which is even better. This was worth it. I think I'll take the, the half heart and I'll save the Emperor card in case we really you know, want to 
100% swing boss rush, which might be a little bit more palatable now that we have uh, Dr. Fetus. You know, it's it's a it's a cost, but it's a cost I'm willing to bear in this situation. Man, I wish he'd stayed close. There is, of course, an obvious uh, problem with Dr. Fetus, and that's that the bombs don't explode immediately, so we gotta time it on these enemies, which can be a little bit more cumbersome. Sometimes it works out uh, with an unintended benefit, though. I really hope I don't get bitten in the ass by this deal with the devil thing. If I lost, like, two spirit hearts and still get a deal... Wow, that's lucky, I guess. If I, um, get a deal with the devil here in spite of the fact that I sacrificed two spirit hearts to not get a deal with the devil, I wouldn't be pissed. I'd just be like, oh, okay. Good. Wait, we want the tears upgrade. We don't want to reroll. So we'll head down to our next floor. Tears down, tears up. Awesome, you know, Dr. Fetus effect. I think I'm going to Emperor card right away, and that's going to seem probably very short-sighted. But uh, I have a reroll ready, and I have a great chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor. I want to see if we can manage to make that work in our favor the way I would like it to. You know, if we can get a nine lives or, or two miscellaneous or even one miscellaneous guppy item here, I'd be stoked. I'd be very, very happy. Probably two bombs away from making Gertie die here. There we go. Little Gertie is almost not worth taking, I think, in this situation where I don't intend to be firing all that much. Uh, this is weird. Because technically, we probably should pick up Ghost Baby before picking up Abaddon. But I really want to re-roll Ghost Baby because it's terrible. So, I feel like we'll probably take Gimpy, take Abaddon, and then re-roll Ghost Baby. And it still sucks. But, um, my reasoning for this was, was basically... You know, I, I don't want a free ghost baby. <laughs> like, a free ghost baby is still ghost baby. It still sucks. So, we might as well... I'd rather pay three spirit hearts for um, for a good deal than no spirit hearts for a shit deal, you know? If that makes sense? If we can't have both, if, if they're mutually exclusive, I'd rather pay for the filet mignon than eat a plate full of, you know, nutritious garbage, basically. Not to say that all nutritious food is garbage. That's not where I'm coming at this from. Rather... Uh, literally, a, a, the, what I'm constructing this analogy around is the idea of a plate of food that is awful, but does keep you alive and won't make you sick. Um, so I, I didn't find a perfect uh, metaphor engine there. Wow, that was terrible damage. Uh, we'll take the spirit heart. I would like to get the item room on this floor. It's more valuable for us to get the item room than it is to... Uh, than it is to get to boss rush, I think, because we don't have a teleport card. I don't really intend on doing boss rush. I think we're, we're borderline strong enough because of the Dr. Fetus pickup, obviously, but... Oh, I, ideally, we could do both. The item room will just be down here, which it isn't. Life goes on. I'm not going to bother picking up the bombs, because... Why would I bother picking up bombs? I can shoot bombs myself with a little bit of, little bit of finesse. We can swing it. And if you're looking at this and you're like, why aren't you picking up any consumables? It's because we're guaranteed to come back this way anyway. It's like Mark Twain said, never do what today, uh, never do today what you can put off till tomorrow. I don't know if Mark Twain actually said that. That seems like something, if you were like a titan of an industry, like Mark Twain was, um, you'd probably just say that so people, you know, weren't, they, they lowered their level of competition towards you, right? You'd be like, yeah, oh, uh, here's my advice as a, the number one author in the world right now. If you're going to do something, don't do it. And then he's like, man, this is awesome. All these uh, authors aren't making books anymore. It's so easy for me to, you know, win the Pulitzer Prize every year. I should give this advice more often. Technically, we should pick up those two keys, but I'm, uh, I'm booking it a little bit here because we do still have a chance at Boss Rush. The Blood of the Martyr pickup, totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. And... Just want to see if maybe second secret room? No? Okay. Also fine. Second secret room? Yes. Uh, okay, we gotta check. Not worth stressing out over. Maybe worth stressing out over a justice card. Got a spirit heart out of it. Okay, okay. We're gonna be a little slow. And that's okay. Um, what are we doing on this run? Like, we don't have a goal. My goal... Mm, that might be worth it, actually. My goal on this run, at this point, is largely just to have fun. And I'm having a good time. Curse of, oh yeah, I can't, there's a retro vision, man, I can't see. Terrible shot on my part. Good. Ideal setup here, don't create any turrets accidentally. 
Oh, that's going to create a turret. <laughs> okay, ideal setup. Don't create several turrets. Oh, don't give me that backwards bony bullshit. Oh my god! Okay, we've taken way too much time there. Ah, those are not cards. He knocked my fucking bomb away. You know what, I'm gonna accept that we're probably gonna take a little damage here. We're gonna run in and do that. That worked exactly according to plan. Almost fucked with us a little bit. Come on. Teleport. Ooh, Yara Rune. This is uh, the seed of a fun run. Stick with Yara. Oh, two special rooms right off the bat. Daddy Long Legs, obviously a, a snap take there. And Champion Belt. Nothing wrong with that either. Let's get the hell out of here. If we can bomb our way quickly enough, we could get to our boss rush. And we might be able to compete on boss rush right now. We might not, but we might be able to. Let's give it a shot. That didn't open the door? Well, as cemented my position as world's smartest idiot. Um, which is a bad thing, <laughs> I think. Um, got one minute left to get in the fight. Sack Dagger will crush mom. Like, that's not even a worry of mine right now. Yeah, we're going to make it in time. All right, so now it comes down to whether or not boss rush is actually worth it. And that's always debatable. We'll see. Two red chests. Oh, one's a teleport to the deal with the devil, which sucks the big one. Two spirit hearts, though. Uh, not so mad about that, but a little bit disappointed in the, the deal with the devil in general. I think this is Blue Mom, which is actually awesome. Because Blue Mom, her foot spends the most amount of time on the ground, which means Sack Dagger is just going to chew it up. Zack Dagger, Australian record producer, friend to famous Aussie Christopher Nolan. I'm joking. Okay, here we go. Uh, glitter bombs, continuum shots, the mulligan, satanic bible. What an interesting setup here. Uh, I feel like we should take glitter bombs and see if they work with Dr. Fetus, which they do. So effectively, we've created unlimited consumables here. Um, is it worth the time we're going to spend on boss rush? I don't know. But what we are going to learn here is whether or not it's worth the amount of time that we spend on boss rush. And I think that's worth something in and of itself, don't you? We, got to, we get the opportunity to have a cool bomb synergy and in addition, uh, learn something that might benefit us or, you know, teach us something about the future of, uh, or our future in Isaac. Maybe this ends up being an awesome synergy, the likes of which we, we never could have fathomed before Afterbirth had come out. Admittedly, uh, some of these enemies are doing real well against these glitter bombs. Glitter bombs. I'll take it. Yeah, and having permanent Polaroid invincibility with Sack Dagger is also, of course, incredible. Damage leaves a little bit to be desired. We have Gimpy, right? We picked up Gimpy. Having picked up Gimpy, I am, like, completely not worried about this boss rush. Picked up an Eternal Heart out of that, huh? Even ignoring the fact that we're obviously guaranteed to get one more item out of this. Uh, we, we have unlimited consumables, basically, from our glitter bombs. And then we have the added chance of getting spirit hearts back from uh, Gimpy. So I think we're in a very safe spot. Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, mister, unless you jump at exactly that moment, which you did. Alright, I see you've played Knifey Spoony before. One more? There we go. Alright. Boss Rush, I think, is shorter now. Not necessarily easier, but shorter. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> it's not actually bullshit, it's just annoying. Um, bombs are like the anti-counter to... Uh, oh, Makes Tinted Rock shine, but I gotta keep... Uh, I gotta keep our Small Rock... Not Small Rock, Left Hand. Same cadence. Um, the big reason it's bullshit is just because, you know, we can't kill several phases at the same time here. That's okay. We got some kind of card there. I can get it. Two of clubs. 18 bombs? Just looking like a fool with the bombs on the ground. I would love more bomb synergies now. Can't believe that worked. Hello, Kate. What's up? Uh, absolutely, yeah. 
Go ahead. You know what? Thank you for asking. Uh, One more hit? One more hit. I don't know what killed him there. It was like he touched the bomb and just decided he didn't want to live anymore. Oh, man. That door being open is really nice. <laughs> Watch, like, the, the thermometer in my room. Like, right now, it reads 30 degrees Celsius. Uh... Watching it slowly dip down here. Oh, that's a very nice breeze. You might be saying, you know, NL, isn't it, uh, isn't it like winter in Canada? Canada, notoriously, uh, you know, cold country. Well, that's true, but uh, Vancouver is a little, it's a little different than the, the rest of Canada. You know, it like never snows. It snows maybe once or twice a year, and it's always just like off the ground really quickly. Um, so it does, it doesn't get cold enough for me to want my room to be 30 degrees Celsius. I mean, I don't want my room to be 30 degrees Celsius uh, at any time, but it's kind of a, it's a fact of life of using, you know, like a computer in here and it's a, it's a small office with not a whole lot of ventilation, but uh, I'm, I'm always happy to have that door open and pick up a little bit of fresh air. It's already dipped down to like 28. That seems like absurd levels of heat transfer, but I'm not an engineer, so what do I know? Oh, we did get a spirit heart out of Gimpy here. Just kind of trucking along. Suppose we could fight Hush on this run if we find ourselves invested in the idea of doing so. We're probably going to be a little too slow. Maybe if we get some form of mapping. Yeah, the mine was our last run, right? Yes. Last boss? Not last boss. Last boss? We fought a few horsemen. Oh, where did you come from? Motorin, what's your price for flight? Okay, I don't care. Take the damage. It's worth it to get it done quickly. Hey, there we go. We got Aquarius, which we'll reroll because it's not that good. And we got Proptosis, which we'll take because it's awesome. Obviously, we're going to stick with the Arrow Rune. Um, I don't even remember which way we came in here. Uh, okay. There's no exit. Oh, that was just hidden by the scoreboard at the top. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, out of all the bugs, this is the worst by far. Okay, so prop toasts, do our bombs start out big and then get small? No, but it, I'm assuming that we do still get maybe a flat damage bonus or maybe even a, a range bonus on the bomb. Like, the, the area of effect might be larger. This is all conjecture, by the way. Like, I don't, I don't know one way or the other. I'm just throwing out what would Proptosis do. Well, Proptosis normally makes your tiers larger and also makes them do more damage. So I'm thinking maybe a larger explosion radius. I don't know. Not going to sweat the pills too much. This is all... Um... All right, that's actually really good. Should have sweated the pills. This is uh, largely a deal with the devil type setup for us right now. Agalaz rune. Uh, we're, we're hoping to make the guppy dream come true. Wow, one bomb actually just killed Chubb. Not that Chubb is the be-all, end-all as far as HP goes, but, uh, you know, if a bomb plus Daddy Longlegs is killing him, I think we got a pretty good setup in terms of our, uh, our bomb damage. Oh, it's a guppy item. All right, so we're one guppy item away from the guppy dream. Does it work with, um, with Dr. Fetus? Honestly, ah, oh, that sucks, but Mr. Meg is great for us. Honestly, I would assume yes. Because synergies have been reworked. There's always the chance that I'm incorrect in this. But uh, I think the odds are that it, it, it probably would be a, a huge benefit for us. Oh, that didn't kill that one? How is that even possible? Daddy Longlegs, solve the problem. Thank you. Daddy Longlegs, solve the problem. Thank you. So you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. That is not a guppy item, and I wish I could fly, but that's okay. Let's stop taking so much dumb damage. Hush is looking like, increasingly like a little bit of a pipe dream here. Of course, we could just, you know, fly away, bomb our way through all these rooms, and uh, never have to worry about our, our timing on this run ever again. Not guppy items. That's okay. No skin off my scrote. We don't need any of that stuff, obviously. That is ideal. Teleport is not, though. There are battery charges around, but I'm, I'm really focusing on saving my battery charges for the deal with the devil because that's where the vast majority of our value is going to lie. Might seem like we're going very slow, but it's largely just a byproduct of boss rush taking us so long. Not so long, but, you know, the extra two or three minutes it adds is not meaningless. 
Oh, double battery charge. Again, saving it for a potential deal with the devil. Then maybe we'll go back and try to make it work on our uh, poison touch or something like that. This is going to be slower. Butt bombs is actually, like, quickly becoming one of my favorite synergies. Uh, for situations exactly like this. You know, you have crowd control, but you can only kill one bomb. Or you can only kill one enemy at a time with bombs. So instead, you just, uh, you know, roast them with the butt bombs, and it's it's easy. Surprisingly fun sentence to say. Try it out for yourself. Roast them with the butt bombs. Uh, good, good. Thank you for not being a telepills. Yeah, okay. So we got Ma the Void Ceremonial Robes. I think we reroll. I think we gotta hedge our bets. We take ceremonial robes, reroll the other one. It becomes empty vessel, so that's an ability to fly and occasional invincibility as well. I think we're just gonna head down to the next floor and try to make the. Well, I don't even know. At this point, our HP is low enough that maybe hush isn't what we want, but I do think that that deal with the devil worked out nicely for us. We didn't become guppy, but we got one of the principal things that you want when you wanna become guppy, which is the ability to fly. And now we'll reroll our entire run on what is doubtlessly going to be a one or a six room. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. I just, well, like, unlocked myself from that area. Not my proudest moment. I'm assuming, oh, it's like two bombs and one daddy long legs play is enough to finish the job there. Guppy, not guppy, that's okay. Blow this demon judgment up gives us a better chance of getting a, a deal with the devil on this floor. I had a feeling that would be it. Uh, let's reroll. Just, I mean, I didn't expect to get something better than infamy. Infamy is pretty darn good, but I rerolled in the hopes of getting something more interesting. And is Glitch Baby more interesting? Maybe now. The game's like less than a month old. The expansion's less than a month old. But probably in the future, you're going to be happy to take Infamy in that situation. Red chests are not scarce. But all that being said, I'm still going to try to take this uh, red chest and see if we can make Guppy happen. Guppy, more important than Hush, I think. Well, more likely than Hush, which makes it more of a, a pressing concern, I guess. Oh, it's bloop time. Fantastic. Another lemon party pill. Well, we're about to find out if it's actually 30 minutes to hush. Because if we get in there at like 30, 35, that's not like 30 or 35. I'm talking about 30 minutes, 35 seconds. Uh, we may be able to put that to rest. The prep people probably already know, but I've never figured it out for myself. And, you know, I can get down with that level of light science from time to time. Please. Good, good. Yeah, we're not going to make Hush if it's 30 minutes. And that's okay. Because if anything, maybe I should be happy that I don't... I have an excuse not to fight Hush. An enemy who has given me fits and... Has not been my favorite nemesis over the course of my... Very small afterbirth career so far. But again, getting that lost victory... Has changed my viewpoint somewhat. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil here. Pick up nine lives. Make our guppy dream come true. See if it works with these awesome bombs. And then we've learned something, we've had fun, we've gotten a cool tier effect, we've gotten an awesome transformation, and uh, this run has, has proved itself. Uh, we'll head up to the cathedral, obviously. We still have a Yara rune, so that's a big one for us. We're going to get eight items on the chest for sure. At this point, I'm kind of like, you know what? I hate you, so I'm going to bomb my way out of here. And be extremely happy to do so. Wow, that was piss poor damage on my part. Secret room, maybe? No. Oh, okay. Our Man, our radius on those bombs is actually awesome. Also, thank you, Empty Vessel, for a little bit of unexpected uh, invincibility there. Rooms that we like, we like. Rooms that we don't like, we're going to bomb our way out of Toot Sweet. I don't know what this means. It means fast, maybe? Yeah, this is our correct path. Good stuff. Uh, Ultra Pride? Super Pride? Just regular Pride. We could reroll um, Anarchist Cookbook if it paid out with it, but it didn't. And now my HP is kind of getting down there. A little scared. Gotta check. Could be uh, Spirit Hearts, which might actually be valuable for us now. Okay, we, we still, like, we have this one in the bag. I've been playing stupidly because I've been not penalized for playing stupidly. And that's on me, because I, you know, I'm an adult, and I should be able to separate myself from stuff like that. But 
you know, let's let's play more intelligently because it would be beneficial for us to not fucking die like an idiot. Okay, no uh, tinted rocks there, unfortunately. I recognize there is a um, there is a curse room. I really wish that I'd taken that into the curse room. I think that I will throw caution to the wind and we'll go into our curse room and see what we can get. And my reasoning is, it's only going to con- Oh, there we go. Now, by coming this direction, it's free. As long as we don't get hit on the rest of this room. We, uh, we're going to pay one spirit heart to get in here. We're going to get another Yara rune. You can't Yara the Yara rune. Which, is, you know, that's like principle 101. Well, it's not principle 101. But it's an early principle of Isaac. You can't Yara the Yara rune. It's like wishing for more wishes. You can't do it. Uh, and let's, let's head in here. Now people are going to be like, wait a minute. Are you going to drop the left hand? I always want to not drop the left hand because it can pay out with Guppy. And I've had it happen once. Maybe twice, actually, now that I think about it. Once on stream, maybe once in a video that I've walked into a D or I've walked into the chest, forgotten I had the left hand, and gotten Guppy out of it. And it's always hilarious, but I think it is smarter for us to avoid that idiocy and instead just see what we get here. Play things the old-fashioned way. So Yara right away. And then crack these open. Decent, not decent. Maybe decent. Terrible. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, I guess we're sticking with that because I got bumped into it. I think we'll take Mongo Baby and Taurus and we'll reroll the rest. Yes, I rerolled $3 bill. Um, take the relic. Might as well take everything passive here and then just uh, forget me down forget me now down to the next floor and we'll get another four items out of it which is pretty good. No curses? No curses. Awesome. Then we get telepathy for dummies. Little chub. Uh, the miter. So miter and relic is an awesome setup for us here. Ball of tar and uh, telepathy for dummies which is actually not horrible. Wow, that was horrible though. Um, it's not horrible if we're uh, bereft of other spacebar items to choose from. So... Not too displeased by that. And the Miter has helped us out, and pretty soon the Relic should as well. Spider Bite Onk. This is good. We have some survivability in case we die. I'd feel pretty embarrassed if we ended up having to use the Onk, but I'd rather be embarrassed than dead. Because I am not in middle school. So. Um, we will. Tears upgrade, and another Spirit Art. This one came courtesy of the Miter. Or sorry, of the Relic, I should say. Starting with invincibility thanks to Empty Vessel. This is really like a group effort here. I like it. Another speed upgrade is awesome. Mom's eye is actually worse for us than, than good for us. But the speed upgrade is great because of the fact that we can use Taurus more often. Occasionally shooting a, a tear out of my butt is really bad for business here. Alright, AAA battery. Uh, AAA battery maybe beats Judas' horn because it means we can have homing bombs on every single room. But I actually think it's probably better for us to not. I think it's better for us to have the extra damage is what I'm getting at. But um, Okay, so we got uh, sticky bomb shots now. Or uh, sticky bombs, I guess. is Not sticky bomb shots. Because uh, that's a different item altogether. Uh, I don't know if this is good, but it has a bomb on the icon. So I'm assuming it's not bad for us. And Taurus is getting used, like, on the regular now, which is actually great. Uh, Sissy Longlegs and Stigmata. I hate to lose the invincibility, but sure, we'll, we'll take every item we get. I mean, this is the whole reason, you know, I'm, I was stoked to have Contract from below, right? This is, like, this is why I wasn't salty that we lost Lump of Coal. Because we had the opportunity for something like this to happen if we just lived long enough. Which we did. Oh, hit myself. And Gimpy pays out with a Spirit Heart again. This is like not a one item show. This is a several item show happening right here. It's actually the Tom Green show. It's not the Green Tom show. It's uh, my favorite show. That's just awful damage. But another Spirit Heart because the, the run refuses to let us die. And I really appreciate that as, as the person in question on this run. More Spirit Hearts every time we hit ourselves. More items. Why not? Saki it to me. I would like to kill. I would like to kill Famine last, or not Famine? Uh, no, that was Blue Famine. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. We get the Spirit Heart either way. Alrighty. Uh, well, I guess we're probably going down this way. It's been kind of a long run, but it's been a fun run to uh, ride out Bug Day. I've had a good time, at least. We found our second secret room by blowing ourselves up accidentally, as is canon, and uh, 
We got Obsessed Fan, which I think is a bad item. And we got Holy Mantle, which I think is really good. And there was a... Uh, well, this is interesting. There was a, um, a black card on there. I'm specifically not going to take it just to be kind of an asshole. Because we're going to win easily regardless. Sweet! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this round. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.